Hi, I'm Terry from Corgi Canada. In this brief video, we'll discuss the sensitivity calibration of a Corgi ProLine 650 balancer. Alright, so in order to do a calibration, I'll need to mount a tire onto a wheel. Okay, in this case, ideally, a 14 or 15 inch steel wheel with a tire. Tire can be worn as long as it rolls true. To begin the procedure, I securely fasten the wheel to the machine and I've got to balance this wheel. So I'll input my distance and diameter. In this case, we have a 2D version, meaning distance and diameter get input automatically. It is now waiting for a width. In this case, six inch wheel, and I would begin my spin. For those who don't have the 2D model, you know you have to input distance from the machine, wheel diameter, and wheel width. You would simply use this button here to scroll through the three different measurements necessary. Diameter, you see, is highlighted. Press it again, distance is highlighted. Press it again, the width is highlighted, and so on, so forth. Press the start button. It reminds me what measurements I've entered. Six inch by 15 inch diameter. So, I balance this wheel to zero. Inner weight is flashing. Everything is lit up. Apply half ounce of weight to the 12 o'clock top dead center position. I do the same on the outside. Everything's lit up. Weight position splashing. Apply the weight and do a check spin by pressing the start button. Perfect. I've got a zero wheel, or at least the machine thinks she did a wonderful job. We're at the point now where we're teaching the machine what 100 grams is. In this case, I've got a red 100 gram weight. In many cases with our equipment, it'll be gray. It will be clearly indicated 100. 100 is also the equivalent of 3.5 ounce. So, what we've done right now, clip on, clip on, conventional dynamic balance because it's a steel wheel. I'd like to begin the calibration procedure by highlighting this icon here. So I'll use the left or right arrows. I'll overshoot intentionally here so you can see what's happening. So all the way to Cal, press enter. Cal, go. First thing that needs to happen, machine needs a reference. So it's spinning that zero wheel. Done. Now, it's asking me to apply a 3.5 ounce weight to the 12 o'clock position. So you make sure you're perfectly at top dead center. Okay. Being very careful to be precise especially during this phase. Now, three and a half on the inside, spin it. Now I'll remove that same weight and hammer it on the outside lip of the wheel at the same top dead center position, making sure be very precise. Spin. Total of three spins need to happen here, so be patient. End count. You've just calibrated the sensitivity 
of your Bowline 650 balancer. We recommend doing this obviously once you first install it and uh, prior to every rush, every entire season. So basically twice a year. Thank you. Have a good day.